Hi, this is Kanababu. In this video, we will discuss about some more examples with ADO.net in WCF. So here, let us assume that uh, here I have one table called EMP table. I want to create a procedure to display the employee details. So how to create a procedure? Here I will type right, create procedure. Procedure name, PROC underscore display EMP. Here I will write as begin block as begin end in middle i will type right select the star from emp so press f5 command completed successfully if you want you can execute the procedure and check it is displaying the details so first of all i want to create a uh, wcf service so go to new project there you can see select uh, wcf and here i will try to select wcf service application the name i will try to give some name i will give some demo sample service some sample service i'll give click on ok now i'm trying to creating a service here so initially i'll go to my solution explorer go to iservice.cs and here you can see by default some operation contracts methods are there i'll try to delete this code and here you can see some data contact class is there i'll try to delete this code also and here you can see service1.svc.cs here also some methods are there I'll try to what delete these methods. So first of all, I'll go to the interface iService.cs, and here I'll try to declare some operation contracts. And the methods must decorate with operation contract attribute, and here I'll try to declare the namespace something like using system dot data, using system dot data, and here I'll try to declare one method. The return type of the method I'll give as data set data set and the name of the method will get display emp data display emp data and here I, will, I want to implement this method in the service class so how to implement you can simply write the method here public data set public data set if you don't know the namespace name control dot then and press enter public data set the name of the method i will try to give as what display emp data bracket open bracket close so initially i want to declare the connection string globally so go to view solution explorer there we can find web.config file within that web.config file after system.web i will declare connection strings and here i will write add name is equals to con str and here i will mention connection string is equals to user id is equals to sa password is equals to abc database Database is equals to mydb and here I'll mention data space what source is equals to server name that is Kanna and here I'll try to what now first of all I'll try to create the connection to the database so I'll try to declare the namespace using system dot using system dot data dot SQL client and here I'll try to declare one more namespace using system dot configuration using system dot configuration here I will try to create the connection. SQL connection con is equals to new SQL connection of. Here I will try to declare the connection string configuration manager dot connection strings of con str dot to string. I want to create the connection. Then I will try to pass the uh, procedure. SQL data adapter DA is equals to new SQL data adapter of. Here I want to pass the procedure comma con. Is it clear? I want to mention the procedure name. So what is my procedure name? PROC underscore display EMP. Pass the procedure comma con. Next create an object for a data set. Data set DS is equals to new data set of. Next I want to fill the data. How to fill the data? DA dot fill of DS comma table name. My table alias name is EMP. Next I want to return what? DS. So build, build the solution. And here you can go to Solution Explorer. Go to View. There we can find Solution Explorer. Right click on Service1.svc. View in Browser. So here I am trying to check in my service. And then later I want to consume the service. I want to consume the service in web application. So here I will try to copy the service URL. And here you can see this is my WSGL file. In the previous session we already discussed that how to read the WSGL file. Now, under service provider, we create the service and uh, he will uh, create the WSGL file. Service consumer must know how to consume the service. And he must know how to read the WSGL file. So, select ASP.NMT web application. Click on OK. 
here you can see this is my i want to consume the service in web application so right click on the project add new item there you can select what web form click on add button and here you can see i'll go to the design window and i want to display the data in the uh, grid view control so here i will try to drag and drop grid view control from my toolbox and i want to display the data in the grid view so here i'll give bold here i'll give double x large something like this and uh, double click and uh, in order to uh, first of all i need to consume the service how to consume the service right click on solution explorer add service reference add service reference paste the service url click on go then automatically it will search the service the time of searching the service we need to run the service and here the namespace name i will try to give a service reference one click on ok and here you can check i want to consume the service using using web application 5 dot service reference one here i will try to what create an object for that class service reference or simply you can write something like web application 5 here you see web application 5 dot service reference one dot service one client obj is equals to new service one client of now i want to uh, call the method obj dot what is the method name display emp data and the written type of this method is what data set if you don't know the namespace control dot press enter ds is equals to now i want to display the data in grid view grid view one dot data source is equals to ds and finally i will write grid view one dot data bind method grid view one dot data bind method this is how we can display the data from the grid view control debug and check the output here you see the data is displayed within the grid view control this is how we can display the data in the grid view similarly i want to create one more stored procedure to search the employee details based on employee number so here i will try to create one more stored procedure so how to create create procedure create procedure proc underscore search employee search emp based on employee number at the rate e number data type is int here write as begin and here write what end block here i will write the query select star from emp where e number is equal to at the rate e number press f5 now this is my procedure name so here i will try to go to my uh, wcf service in the same service i will try to declare one more method so here i will try to decorate the method with operation contract attribute and here i will try to um, search the employee details so here also i will declare the written type of the method is data set and the name of the method i will give as search emp search emp data this is my method name and here i will try to declare one class data contract class data contract class and here i will try to declare a class public class the name of the class i will give as what employee and here i will declare some properties public int e number and here i will declare one more property public string e name and i will decorate this property with one attribute that is data member attribute and here also i will try to decorate the property with data member attribute and for this search employee data i will try to pass the data contact class as parameter employee e1 and here i will try to implement this method in the service class so how to implement go to service1.svc.cs and here you can declare what public data set of bracket open bracket close so first of all i want to create the connection to the database server so i will try to create the connection so here you say create the connection next i want to use sql command because whenever you want to pass any parameters through stored procedures through data adapter definitely we have to use the sql command so i will try to open the connection con dot open of and sql command cmd cmd is equals to new sql command of pass the procedure comma con so here i want to mention my procedure name so what is my procedure name prvos underscore search emp pass the procedure comma con next mention that we are working with stored procedure cmd dot command type is equals to command type dot stored procedure command type dot what stored procedure next pass the parameters cmd dot parameters dot add with value of at the rate e number parameter name comma uh, here i will try to pass what e1 dot what e number e1 dot e number and uh, then we need to execute the procedure cmd dot execute what uh, non query but uh, here actually uh, i want to pass this uh, 
command object to data adapter because I want to use data set here. So SQL data adapter DA is equals to new SQL data adapter of here you can pass what the CMD and then I will try to create an object for a data set DS is equals to new data set of and then I will try to fill DA dot fill of DS comma table name is EMP and then I will try to return what DS this is the procedure once and the result is stored if you want you can close the connection con dot what close off something like this are you following so this is how we can work uh, build and rebuild and once you can uh, go to solution explorer right click on the project view in browser so it will automatically display the output and I will try to copy the service URL and uh, here you see I, I want to consume the service so here you see go to web application and here you can go to the project add new item select web form click on add button go to the design and here you can go to where toolbox go to toolbox drag and drop on text box control drag and drop on text box control and here you can drag and drop on button control and uh, here you can drag and drop what one grid view control drag and drop one grid view control here under data controls here you can drag and drop what grid view control and here you can say I will try to write what enter e number employee number and here you can find what one button is there that search button is there and here I will try to what give bold here and here I will mention what double x large something like this and double click on this search button and write the code so how to write the code here here you can declare the namespace using the application phi dot service reference one I, uh, and here I will try to create an object for that one web application one dot web application phi dot service reference one dot service one client obj is equals to new service one client of next obj dot uh, and I will create an object for employee class also so there I have done some modification again what you have to do means you have to here uh, go to your service reference one and right click and what update the service reference so what are the modification you have done that modifications will automatically apply here update the service reference and here I will try to create an object for employee class employee even is equals to new employee of I will try to set even dot e number is equals to int dot parse of text box one dot text I am entering the employee number in my text box and here I will try to uh, call the method how to call obj dot what is the method name search search employee data of password even and the return type of this method is what data set control dot press enter ds is equals to and here I will try to what fill the data in grid view so here I will try to take one grid view grid view one dot data source is equals to ds and here I will write grid view one dot data bind method so press f5 and check the output so when I enter the employee number and click on button it has to display the employee details in the grid view control 101 click on button let us see here 101 details are displayed and similarly if you have some other records like 102 is also there let us check one more record 102 click on button here the main concept is service provider will create the service in any language or any technology and service consumer can consume the service service consumer is web application that is your uh, service provider is nothing but your this web service or WCF service so a developer will create the service another developer will consume the service is it clear and we can consume the service in any of the web application there is no restriction in any technology it is language independent technology independent we can directly consume the service in any of the other applications so for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and facebook group thank you have a nice day